We're almost back home and we're in Charlotte where there's surprisingly significantly more vegan things going on. There's several vegan restaurants like Luna's Living Kitchen, Bean, and Mama Walks. So we're gonna go check out Mama Walks since it's in route. This is a place I haven't been to yet that I've heard about recently that I've heard amazing things about. They used to be vegetarian and before that they served meat. So they went from meat to vegetarian to now vegan. And a conversion like that it says a lot. We made it to Mama Walk. There it is. So we got the hot and sour soup to start things off. So they basically mastered mocking things like pork and beef. We got ham down here, and beef. Even we got steak right here, the fish. I mean, they really covered the whole gamut with the mock meats. But I went ahead and I got the Kung Pao vegetable beef. And Sarah got the curry stew and the, the hot and sour soup. I didn't know this until after we ordered, but they also have a, a picture menu, which is cool. So you may want to check that out too. Normally, I could care less about mock meats. Like, I don't crave meat, I don't ever look for mock meats, but I figured I'd try it because it's a pretty popular thing at some places, and obviously they're doing a lot of that here, and I figured I'd try something that a lot of people like, steak, and uh, see how it goes. It definitely looks authentic. Mm, great texture, really sweet. Really sweet taste and perfect seasoning. Oh, this is so good. This is definitely awesome. I'm hoping my son will try it. I haven't had steak in seven years, so I imagine if somebody snuck something on me, it'd probably make me sick. But this this is this is really, really good. And I like that they got brown rice, whole grain rice. I could never understand why places don't have whole grain rice or white rice just not hitting it. So check out Mama Walk and you'll be sure to get a nice, healthy, affordable, I mean this was like 11 bucks. And this, this definitely slams anything else out there so far. I think if the owner was here right now, I'd give him a big old hug. I'm coming back soon. It's about an hour, an hour from where I live. So next time I come around, hopefully he'll be here and I can Get him on camera sharing a little bit about you know what you know how he got to this point and what he used to do i think they used to serve meat i'm not sure this is absolutely better than the real thing and that's spicy like i like and it, i guess it's not too spicy because apparently she's not having a problem with it. so we decided to splurge a little bit and get some vegan donuts here what are they they got a name for them they're just donuts Chinese donuts and yes even the fortune cookies are vegan no eggs and these things are super fresh like so often you get fortune cookies and they're kind of like stale you don't know how long they've been sitting around these things are fresh and they taste so like clean good good fortune cookies okay I had no idea I was getting that many donuts they won't go to waste. So that was an awesome experience. I didn't have to worry about them messing up my order. I didn't have to smell any rotting corcus being fried or grilled. I didn't have to worry about cross-contamination and getting some zoonotic foodborne illness. I mean, that's what it's supposed to be like right there. That was perfect. Perfect. I love you, Mama Walk. Awesome. Awesome.